Is it indeed some of the daily active user numbers, despite maybe the actual top line numbers from an income sheet uh, uh, that, that gives some relief here? Yeah, and also their ad impressions grew 15%. So that actually beat consensus numbers. So the reason why they missed the numbers is because the ad pricing declined 8%, but the impressions grew 15%, and that's a sign that they are holding on to the engagement. So uh, we know Facebook was making this pivot from you know the feed base to more videos, the uh, Meta Reels and the Instagram Reels, and that has a lower ad pricing. So we kind of expected going into the quarter that ad pricing would be down, but ad impressions holding up is a real positive. And also they are scaling back their guide for the total OPEX. Yeah. So that is a sign that they're not betting as big into reality labs as they laid out last quarter. So that's a good thing as well. Well, what about the costs, though? I mean, because we talk a lot about the, the money that they're going to spend for some of these future initiatives. That doesn't seem to be a concern, at least right now, in the knee-jerk reaction by investors. Yes, and, and look, uh, they were losing about 10 $10 billion dollars on reality labs at least that's uh, that was the number last quarter it's very similar this quarter but what they're telling us is they don't plan to increase it okay. so that's a good thing as well as the capex they were spending additional 10 billion dollars on building the infrastructure for the metaverse guess what that's not going up and a lot was already priced into the valuation look coming into the quarter Facebook was at its lowest valuation multiple it's ever been so this is sort of a relief that you know expenses isn't growing, the capex isn't growing, and the, uh, the engagement is holding up. Hey, Mandeep, it's Carol here. So what changed dramatically from that big disappointment in the previous quarter, right, when the stock just fell like a rock? What's changed? Well, what's changed is last time they gave us a surprise that they are spending an additional, you know, $20 billion, $10 billion in CapEx, and $10 billion in OpEx on this reality labs. That's the first time we learned about those numbers. This time around, they're saying they don't plan to increase it, but they plan to pare back a little bit. And the core Facebook and Instagram engagement seems to be holding up quite well. So I think these are definitely good, set, good numbers. They missed on the top line, but we know it's because of the ad pricing. And I, I think that was sort of expected. And the 43% operating margin this time last year, 31% this year. Is that the new normal for Meta? For a while. So that's where the Reality Labs 10 billion uh, loss comes into play. That's what's eating into the operating margin. But the core business, the Instagram and even Core Blue app, despite the lower engagement, continues to be above 40% in terms of the margin. Just, just real quickly, is there a broader sort of metaverse trade here? Because I mean, we had Qualcomm our earnings out there doing well here. And I know there's been some talk that, that you know, it's not just, uh, you know, the content creators like a, like a Facebook, like a meta that benefit from this, but it's chip makers as well. Yes. So the meta Metaverse trade is more on the infrastructure side. If you're uh, exposed to infrastructure investments tied to Metaverse, you may do well. Yeah. But in terms of applications like Roblox or you know anything else, yeah. uh, you are being hurt by reopenings right now.